Trust the Lord. Give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. For the reading of Psalms 40, verse 1. Verse 4. If God has put a new song in your mouth, open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One more time. Come on, clap your hands and give God the highest praise. Come on, church, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. If you know that the Lord is real, come on, tell your neighbor Jesus is real. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands if you know you love him. Hallelujah. Come on, greater faith, put those hands together. Come on.
say he's real, yeah. Come on, God in. You say he's real. Come on. Cry out a little bit louder. Yeah. Cry out so they can hear you. Hallelujah. Let your enemies know God is. Because he's real. 
If you lean on me, hallelujah, Jesus said, you can just lean on me. Jesus said, just lean on me.
omnipotent. to you wherever you may be in your car in your living room hallelujah on your job around the world we come to you in this mighty name of Jesus knowing that Jesus is the same he's the same yesterday today somebody say today say it with me again today and forever thank God he can't change he's a God that cannot change hallelujah he's on the oath to bless you today those that came today looking for a miracle looking for a blessing you can expect that blessing today and if you would with me right now all over this building and in your home in your living room Clap your hands and give our God a mighty hand to pray. Yeah, and sing my soul, my Savior, Savior God to me, God to me. How great Thou are! Thank you, Jesus. How.
Give him some praise. Give him some praise. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is there with you. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. That's his word. Somebody say, that's his word. Thank God for Jesus Christ. How many of y'all here to receive today? Let's see your hand. You're here to receive something from our God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, going through almost two years in this pandemic, it's been teaching us something about waiting. It's been teaching you something about waiting. Sometimes you just have to wait. I know some of you all are excited and you want to move even before God moves. Hallelujah. Because of your situation and what you might be going through. But somebody got to wait on the Lord. The scripture say, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Somebody say, hallelujah. Wait on him. Whatever it takes to wait on him. Wait on him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We've been made and do for the night. But how many of y'all know that joy? Joy coming. Somebody say joy. Somebody say joy. Somebody say joy. 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 Come on, y'all got to get with me here now. I say joy. Coming in the morning. It's coming, y'all. I don't care what the devil say. I heard somebody say, forget the devil and give God some praise. Forget the devil and give God some glory. Forget the devil and think of the goodness of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Give him some brain. I kind of feel my joy bells coming. I feel joy bells. Woo! I say I feel joy bells. I say I feel joy bells coming. I feel joy bells coming. Come on, watch me. I say I feel joy bells coming. Joy bells. Joy bells. Joy bells, I feel the ringing, I can hear them ringing, ringing it in my heart, ringing it in my soul, like a melody, like a melody, Lord divine, somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah. can y'all hear me out there, come on take me out, joy, somebody say joy, 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 joy. Hallelujah, thank you. Ooh, 
I am so excited. How many of y'all excited? Are y'all excited? Come on, y'all. Y'all got to get up and praise the Lord. Now, y'all sick today. Are uh, anybody sick? Y'all know COVID been running crazy and wild, but if the Lord give you a chance to, to give him some praise and to get it, give him glory, get up on your feet and praise him. Hallelujah, because you don't have to be here. You can still have problems later, they say. You need to stand up on your feet. God done been good to you. He done been good to all of us, but you know he been good to you. Somebody needs to be talking to Jesus right now. You need to let him know how thankful you are. excited is because he woke me up this morning and he started me on my way. I heard somebody say he didn't have to do it, but he did. I have my health, strength, thank you Jesus Christ, and I feel good in Jesus. Those that are listening to me, I'm coming to you today in Jesus' name. I want you to receive what God has for you today. I believe some of you are going to be touched as I speak. As you hear this message, as it go out. The last four weeks, I have been teaching on a series of messages that God has given to me about the giants, the three giants. And those three giants is COVID-19, the Delta, that's three, two, and also the third giant, that is raising a whole lot of fuss and that is death. The scripture says that he is the last enemy that would be destroyed is death. You know, right now the hospitals around the world, they are so tired. They are so weary because there are so many people that are dying from COVID. So many people that are dying. They are leaving this life. And what is sad is to say that a lot of people are not going to heaven. They're not going to be with Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. You going out of one of the places, you going to heaven, or you you going to paradise to be with the Lord, or you going to go to hell? There's, there's no in between. If people really knew that, and some heard it, but it, they didn't get it. They didn't get that they could lose their life in this life even before time and that you get locked up in a place until hallelujah the Lord would come back for his church it's for his bride he's coming Jesus is coming believe what I tell you it's not long now all of these things that we are seeing today are nothing but signs that's all is to wake us up hallelujah but it's so there are so many distractions hallelujah while Jesus, on, he's on his way back. There's so many distractions that could, hallelujah, get your attention. There's so many things that are in the world, hallelujah, that are getting God's children, his people, is getting their attention. Until they can't focus on praise, they can't focus on giving God what he wants. He will get the glory one way or another. God would get the glory. It's because he's the only one that has to be justified. Thank you, Jesus. God know how to get the glory out of you, out of me. It's best that we would give it to him and, and be thankful just to be obedient unto him because we know that he is just a, a good God. It's because he's so merciful. You got loved ones, even if you Hallelujah. It seemed like you were doing well and you were doing good in your body, but there's others that are not doing as well as you in their bodies and some that are sick and some about to lose their life. They're dying. And some can't do nothing about it. It's because they don't know what to do. Some of us don't know what to do. It's because we have panic in this pandemic. The pandemic, actually, listen to me. The pandemic has been a blessing. Yes. God works the good, the bad, and the ugly. Everything works according to his will, whatever he said. The pandemic can happen or nothing can happen. COVID-19, death, none of it could work, not work unless the Lord say so. Hallelujah. God has given permission that death could work for a while, just for a little while. Hallelujah. Even though all your preachers around the world that they are praying, they are praying all over the place that God would just move this pandemic, but the pandemic haven't left yet. It's still here. They crying out to God, God, will you do this? And God, some of these big time pastors and apostles, some of them, thank you, Jesus. But when judgment fall, you can't stop God. When, when God brought judgment on, hallelujah, during the time of Noah, hallelujah, when during the flood, no one could stop him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No one could stop him. Once God set the time, he set the date and the time of judgment. And once it's set, amen. And it's because of the sins of the world. It's because that in Genesis, the sixth chapter, the scripture said that God saw that man's heart, his mind and imagination was evil. Hallelujah. Continuously until it repented the, the Lord that he ever created man. God was sad. He was sad what he had done and that's something to think about this almighty God that knows everything he was sad he was in a place that he looked at man and he looked and he saw how wicked the imaginations imagination of man and his thoughts until he said I would destroy him I would destroy man both beast from off the earth well he gonna do it again and this would be the final thank you Jesus it's one more time saints 
that was in the beginning. Now, what's going to happen in the end? And now we're at the latter part of God's word. And it's happening. Amen. So they can pray. But if they are praying and they're not repenting uh, of their sin, preachers, apostles, and bishops, and missionaries, they are not repenting. Thank you, Jesus. They got to turn away from their sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. God don't care what your name or what title that you hold. And some of you, the title got you in trouble. That title done got a lot of preachers in trouble. So, so many people that are talking about COVID, 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 COVID. Hallelujah. Around the world. Hallelujah. They, they, they fearful. It's a lot of people that are fearful at this time. They just afraid. But the saints, are, they should never have nothing to worry about. It's because we got hope. <laughs> Even if death come at you, you're still all right. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Whatever happened to you, it's because this is not the end here. Amen. And I heard the young lady saying, Sister Kyron saying a little earlier that we'll go sweeping through the city. Hallelujah. And you said that I won't be back. I won't be back. I won't be back no more. Talk about over there in that city, talking about the New Jerusalem spelled with an S, the Zion, the New Zion. Somebody say hallelujah. Not talking about the, the old Jerusalem now. Thank you, Jesus. But talking about the new place where we are headed. Oh, yeah, we going. You say over there in that city, uh, there, there, there it ain't going to be no more crying, no, no dying. None of that stuff is there. Hallelujah. I just pray that all my friends and loved ones that they made it, but I know some of them did make it. Hallelujah. I just felt like some, some didn't make it. So that makes me work that much harder. It's because God's still giving us a chance. He's still giving me time. Hallelujah. Even to do whatever I need to do. The scripture said to Jezebel, the Lord said to her, say, he gave her space, meaning that he gave her time to repent of all her wickedness and things that she she done. Hallelujah. That's what God is doing for you. Because most of you in here know someone that done already gone on before you. Even if they just left yesterday or last week or the week before or a year ago. They have left and you still here. You still here. Why are you here? Why couldn't that have been you? Hallelujah. That left. That passed on. No, but God's still giving you time. To clean up your eye, clean up your sin, whatever. He's giving you time to serve him and to worship him and to focus on him and forget everything. Forget the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Hallelujah. All that is in the world is the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. These things are of the world. God wants us to love him with all of our heart everything in you. When you come to church, you're supposed to be really totally focused. You got to be focused. Your mind has to be focused on God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Don't let the enemy steal your, your worship. Don't let him steal your praise. He's a thief. He knows how to do that. Some of y'all be back there on your phone, on your iPad, back there talking and doing all of these things. How, that's not the time to do this, to do that. Time, this little time that you got, you need to be putting that time in, paying attention to what God wants you to do. What is it that God wants you to do? What do God have for you to do? There's something that God wants from each of you, even the children, the kids. At 13 years of age, thank you, Jesus, that I came to Jesus Christ and he saved me, filled me with the Holy Ghost. I'm still saved. And when I came, I had black hair. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When I came to Jesus, I was a little fella. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm not. I don't have black hair anymore. Thank you, Jesus. All of it is white. Thank you, Jesus. 
almost snow white like my dad. Thank you, Jesus. Almost snow white. I imagine another two or three years ago, he had on and snow it out. It'll be white, white. But I thank God for the wisdom. I thank him for the knowledge and the understanding in this route that he had blessed me to travel. No, it ain't been good. It ain't been sweet. Amen. Every day. No, it haven't been like that. I, if anybody can tell you that, I can. Hallelujah. I done had some tests, some trials, some tribulation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But the Lord wouldn't let it overtake me. He fixed a way for you to escape whatever happened, whatever you're going through. The scripture said that the Lord will make a way. Hallelujah. He'll make a way. Hallelujah. For you to get through it. He'll make a way. Hallelujah. For you to get to the next level that he wants you to be. Hallelujah. In him. I am so excited that he has given me a chance or given me this chance that I can take the advantage of it. In the pandemic, you that are sitting here, those that are listening to me, Hallelujah on Zoom, on Facebook, YouTube. Those that are out there listening to me today, listen to me. I got a word for you. And I believe it's going to pierce your heart. I'm giving it to you. Listen to me. Pay attention. I'm not worried about Satan. Hallelujah. My concern is souls. My concern is God's people that they don't get entangled up in the yoke of bondage and can't get out. Hallelujah. That they get so stuck until their families can't get out, until they can't even get a prayer through. You got to be able to get a prayer through. You're going to have to let the Spirit of God operate in you. The Holy Ghost. You're going to have to listen to the, the Spirit that is in you. He that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. God is in you. How many God is in you? Let's see your hand. How many of y'all got that power? How many of y'all got that power today? You got that anointing of the Holy Ghost. You got the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. If it be that it dwelleth in you, if it dwells in you, God, hallelujah, it will raise you up from out of that place, out of the dead, out of that bondage, out of that situation. God will raise you if because his spirit is in you. God is in you. There's nothing that is greater than the power that is in me. Nothing. Nothing. That's why the scripture says no weapon that is formed against me can prosper. That's why every tongue that should rise up, you can talk and say whatever you will, say, but it ain't going to prosper. God will bring judgment on what you say. Be careful what you say about God's anointed. Hallelujah. Be careful of the things that you say. You can be paying for stuff that you said years ago and you don't even know it. It's because God can judge you. And now you just start to reap it what you said. Reaping time is already here. Clap your hands and honor our God. Come on and clap your hands and give him some praise. Give him some glory. Give our God some praise. Give him the glory. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Three giants. I kid you not, I seen them. I seen all three. I'm not confused. I didn't get it from the bishop or from the apostles. I got it from the presence of the Lord the presence of the Lord God has spoken to me I can hear and I'm sensitive you have to learn how to be sensitive unto the spirit of God hallelujah the scripture called us us peculiar people we're not like everybody else you peculiar people you've been called hallelujah to show forth God praise you've been chosen by God hand pick you 
to serve him and to worship him. What can you do about that? You better come on over now on the Lord's side and start doing what God wants you to do. Clap your hands and honor him. Come on, it's time to do what he wants. We in that day, we in that hour, we in that time. It's here, it's here, it's here. It's, we are in it right now. You don't wait, say, don't think that you just listen to me. Listen to me. No, 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 it ain't going to get better. Y'all put that in the book. It ain't going to get better. It's going to get worse. Hallelujah. It's going to get, y'all ain't seen that. Because this third giant is going to deal. And should I tell y'all what he's about to do? And should I tell y'all about the earthquake? Should I tell y'all that I see the tsunamis? I see people falling in holes and ditches, all kind of sinkholes. The judgment of God is falling. They're just going to die. Don't even know why they died. No, you're not going to be able to blame everything on COVID-19. It's going to be death. It's death that is moving. Who doing this? God allowed it. Why? Because it's judgment. Judgment starts at the house of God. It starts with us. God making us pay for stuff so he can make you fit. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of God. God got to make you ready. So don't be confused. Don't be confused, saint. I'm just going to say just a little bit more here in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you today. I just thank you for just being so good to me. Two years, almost two years in a closet. And I say this all the time because I have gotten so much out of that prayer. <laughs> Listen to me. That's what kept me going. Thank you, Jesus Christ. It's in that prayer closet. Stay there. Stay there until you get your answer. Just stay there. Shut the door when you go in, the, in your closet. Shut the door. And when you go in there, I got that. It's just a feeling. It's a present. The scriptures say that those that shut the door, when they go into their prayer closet, God sees them in secret. He sees you in secret. And I can if I just stay there just for a little bit, then it's so true. God really sees you. And then the communication comes. I start to talk to God in another language as the Spirit gives the utterance. God started to move and then he began to show me things to come. I've seen rainbows. I've seen rainbows around heads, different ones, different colors, colors that you, you couldn't imagine. It's color, these are pure colors. These are not the colors like what we look at here on the earth. No, these are heavenly colors. Only God can show you the pureness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And of his word and to help you to understand. Listen to me. I want to prepare all of you and those that are listening to me on Facebook, listen to me. I'm going to help you. I can help you. God has chosen me for this hour, this time to bless you. Hallelujah. It came right out of the throne room. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Those that need special miracles, you need healing. Some of you that are here today, listen, I see two people that, oh, shucks, listen to me, listen, listen. There's a clot. There's one person that, that has a clot. Yes, you do. Thank God that you're here. I told you. I told you. <laughs> listen, Lord, I, I see them. I can see, yes, there's a clot. That's in your leg, that's coming up. That's, that's your right leg coming up from your right leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I see it, I see it. I curse it though, <laughs> hallelujah. I command in the name of Jesus, I command that thing, I curse it right there in the name of Jesus, go! I command it in Jesus' name. Now lose her. Lose her. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Woo! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Y'all listen. Listen to me. That's what we need. We need the power of God. We need the, we need the gift 
Oh God, I'm going to pray for you. I'm not, I can't call you out. I can't let you come up here. But I'm going to just pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. It's in your left lung. That's the reason why you'll cough. No, not COVID. It's not COVID. Something else. And the Lord said, not, you're not the fear. No fear. And because your healing was here today, I guarantee you before you leave that cough, what you had, <coughs> it won't be there. It's going to be gone. Clap your hands and give our God. Give him some praise. Give our God some praise. Yes, yes. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're going to check it. You're going to check it. That's in your left lung. Hallelujah. That's your left lung. And that's why you've been taking some breath. And you, you were concerned. That deep breath. I see you there. But God said, no worry. I, no worry. Just say that right now. Say it again. Say it one more time. No death. You're not dying. Listen to me. You don't have to fear death. No fear in death. There's someone that is that I see. No, not you, but it's in the family. I plead the blood over them. I see them. I see them. So you want to plead the blood in the name of Jesus over your household, over your whole family. Your family. Your whole family do that. But I plead the blood of Jesus over you right now that you are healed by the mighty power and the wonder working power of the spirit. I want you to check that. I want you to check yourself. I want you to check yourself. You want that rallying, that coughing that you were doing. No, it wasn't COVID. It was just a, a rally, but it was in our lungs. And it was, it was the breathing part. And uh, it was going to cause some other issues. The longest it, it stayed there. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now listen to me. On Monday nights, I'm going to actually be coming back here probably within two weeks. And we would be coming back for miracle service. We're coming back to suck the devil right in the eye. <laughs> We're going to give him a black eye. We're going to bring it to him. Don't let the devil bring the battle to you. You take it to him. Hallelujah. With all power. Give him what God has given to you. Knock him out. Knock him out. Listen to me. Listen, miracles are here today. Miracles here. That, that, that person that had that in their leg. Is, listen, there, listen, listen, listen. There's some blood disorders that are here. That, that, that I even see there's three, four people that are anemic. And there's two people that are looking at me right now. That is a anemic. God is touching you. Your levels are coming back up. To Listen here, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, 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 uh. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the sister right there with the pink, I, God is touching you. I see you in the back. I know who you are. But raise your hand. I know exactly who you are. All the way in the back, raise your hand. Don't let me call your name. She got on. Yes, yes, hallelujah. Just somebody praise the Lord right along with her. Come on, praise the Lord. Come on. This is, this is your blood. Your blood is being lined up. Your, cell, your cells are off. It's, it's in your blood. It's been there for years, I see. Years. But God said that he's doing something special. Uh, that was that rainbow that I saw over your head. You, after the day, you're going to be so, so happy. You're going to feel that just, just go. Hallelujah. The condition that you have had. You have had this condition for years, but God is touching you as I speak. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I speak it in the name of Jesus. That girl, that girl, I see someone there too that you're praying for. It's a young lady that I see that God is going to move. Hallelujah. On her behalf, I almost see the name there. Sabrosa Brana, Sabana. Somebody shout hallelujah. Listen, I know I haven't said anything to you all, but just let me just get this out right quick. Those, those that are on Facebook, 
I want you to get him for a miracle. Those that uh, are in the hospital, those that got COVID, and you're watching me, just stretch your hands out, right? Wherever you may be. Stretch your hands out and say, Lord, I receive my miracle. Say it again. Say, Lord, I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. Say it again. Lord, I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. Say it again with me. Lord, I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. Say it again. Lord, I receive my miracle in the name of Jesus. here in this chapter I have a reader go right ahead read or read it not everyone that saith unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. iniquity. Now, if we ever use a subject today, it would be, I don't know you. I don't know you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. Who you are. Thank you, Jesus Christ. 
It says, not everyone, not everyone, hallelujah, that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into heaven, into the kingdom of God. But he said, only those that do, do it the will. You got to do it. Hallelujah. Not just say it. You know how many people are going to say that they knew Jesus, that they worship him, they served him. They went to every meeting, every church meeting. They served on the usher board. They served, hallelujah, in, in the choirs. They served all over the place. They went around the world as missionaries. They went to, and they served to all these great national conventions around the world. When everything boils down, it's going to be about you and Jesus. And the way that you live is the way that you will die. Listen to me. There's a lot of confusion going on in our world. Yes, it is. Just notice in this chapter, say not everyone that is saying, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, great prophet. Oh, great apostle. Oh, great bishop. Oh, great missionaries. Hallelujah. The saints. The saints that came to church on a regular basis, but their heart wasn't there. But you seen them show up. Thank you, Jesus. And some of them cried out and they said, Lord, I just feel like I'm on my way because I, 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 I've done some things for you, Lord. I guess it's, the Lord don't give you time enough to say these things to him. Remember, you're going to... You, you, you're going to have eye contact. You're going to be able to see him just as he is. You're going to be able to look upon him, the God who created the heavens and the earth, created the universe. You're going to be able one day to see him just as he is. I don't know you. You know, that's, that's a strong word. Oh, that's, amen. Know you. Mm. Mm. You ever knew someone, amen, or looked on someone and, and you thought that you knew them? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then when you walked up to them and you identified who, and, and maybe, <laughs> maybe you did know them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. But they didn't know you. They didn't pay you any attention to Hallelujah, what you were saying to them. You said, well, don't you remember we, uh, we were together? We, we did this together. We, we did that. We, we went places together. You said, who are you? Wait a minute. Who are you? Yo, that's how we talk. Who are you? Who, who in the world is just talking to me? Who are saying these things to me like I know who you are? I don't, and you looking at them strange. And you looking at them and said, no, you, you say, well, look at me, look at me. I mean, hallelujah. That's what they're going to say to Jesus. Jesus, you, you don't remember me? Jesus, you don't remember I, I went to church and I, I serve you. Don't you remember me playing the bass guitar? I ain't talking about you, brother. Hallelujah. Don't you remember me singing the song? Yes, still I lie. I am, I am Don't you remember that? Don't you remember? Uh, Jesus, I'm, I'm calling. I'm, I'm calling. I'm. And you identify yourself. You say, who, you tell him who you are. You telling him who you are, but he's saying to you, he don't know you. That's going to be hard. That, ooh, some of these brothers are in for it. 
some of these apostles and bishops, they are in for it. Hallelujah. It's because a lot of them have confused the people, and the people are so confused, they don't even know God like they should know him. It's because they mixed up. Hallelujah. What's false stuff that done got, done went out there, the spirit of antichrist. It's false. It ain't real. It's not true. The things that they're saying. And some people are doing things for their glory. They want the glory. Hallelujah. They want the big home. They want the big car. They want the attention, Dr. So-and-so. They got all these titles and handles of back of their names. But in the Lord, they don't mean nothing. What it does for you here on the earth is to build you up. Hallelujah. Like you, someone so great. Hallelujah. Make people look on you and they don't see God. They see you. So you take God's glory. You take his praise. Hallelujah. You take what God said that he would not give it unto another. He said, for my glory will I not give it to another. So you take his glory. And then you claim that you know him. It's because of your worship. You say, my worship is right. You say, my servant, the Lord, is, is right. I know, I know he's coming back for me. It's because of what I, the way that I have lived. You might be slipping and not even know it. Hallelujah. It's because if you don't know and understand his will, if you don't understand his will, then you're going to need somebody to help you to beat that road map. Because you don't understand it. And then the other part of that, you're going to have to be where you can submit yourself to authority in every area. In the church house, it tells you in Hebrew chapter 13, 17, and say, obey them that have rule over you for, and submit yourself unto them for they watch for your soul. What is most important than, important than your soul? What is more important than your soul? That's eternal. That's forever. You're going to live forever. You'll never die. You're not, you're not dead. <laughs> That's just a moment. Amen, somebody. You only change from this life to the life of where you're going or where you done got sentenced to. Whether you went to hell or you went to, you don't want to go to hell. And there's a lot of preachers, and I'm here to address them too, that are sending people to hell with what they say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And they are the ones that so confessing and saying all these things about Jesus. Hallelujah. They such a powerful one. They so ain't nothing to me. I'm just a man. I'm just an instrument. That's all I am. Amen. That God would use me. Hallelujah and to minister to his people and to enlighten them, them in his word so they can have a clear understanding of God and to understand the spirit of God and to understand the time which we are living in right now. With COVID-19, three giants, COVID-19, uh, then you have the Delta, then you have death. These are giants. It's because they have taken so many lives. They have died. People went into eternity. They didn't just die. Hallelujah. And a lot of your preachers are responsible for that. Amen, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Misinformation. This internet, the internet can blow your mind. It'll blow your son. And a lot of stuff. Amen, somebody. God ain't even in it. And you go on there and you mess yourself up. And you don't get the understanding of the will of God. God tell you who to obey. You remember that God given his dominion. He gave dominion to man. Yeah. Man is in charge of the whole world, of the earth. Now, once you leave out of the earth, he ain't up, up there. He ain't got no jurisdiction, but on the earth, he got it. God giving it to him. That means he, he gave him the knowledge and the, the understanding to know how to do something and to know how to keep living in a life in this world. Hallelujah. 
food that we're to eat, food that we're not, the things that we're not to touch. Amen, somebody. Gave us the knowledge, God given the knowledge, the know-how to, to, to go on in life and to make a better life for, for, for the children, for the people that are living in this world. Hallelujah. The ones that are saved and the ones that are not saved. God made a way for them. Hallelujah. Through his grace and through his love and through his mercy. You say, well, what's wrong with doctors? And Luke was a doctor. Hallelujah. Apostle Luke in the Gospels of Jesus Christ. He was a doctor. Hallelujah. And he traveled right there with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's nothing wrong with your doctors. Amen. Just find the right doctor. Amen. Some would get divine heal. That's different. Divine healing. And when the gifts of the spirit is operating, when the power of the God is working and you can receive your miracle in, in a, a divine way. And you didn't have to, even if you went to the doctor, you went there for confirmation. You might have went there so that the doctor can tell you that you okay. That you all right, you got your blood work, you went there to check out things, all you want to hear from the doctor, hey, what you already knew, hallelujah, that you already bless, you already heal, you already touch by the master's hand. But why God put them in place? Why do God put scientists in place so that they can search and go into the galaxies and to the stars where man haven't never gone before and so that we can get a view you can see God in a light like you've never seen him. If God didn't allow them to, to be able to search and scientists and doctors to be able to see these things, even though the, even the doctors now have begun to, to believe that is a God. There is a God. When they see, hallelujah, the world, when they see how things, even your body, how God created you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And so I've heard some people let me clear it up. Hallelujah. And they say all kinds of things about God. But these people are going to have to give an account. They're going to be judged. And a lot of them are not going to get to heaven. It's because some of them think that they are God. And some of them think that God is really using them. And God will use some of them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God would allow some of them to be able to do something, even as he did Pharaoh, so that God could show his glory. And Pharaoh, God want to show his power. He want to show how great he is. He going to use somebody. Somebody say hallelujah. Satan ain't going to get this glory. God will get the glory. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Come on, clap your hands and give him some praise. Satan will not get this glory. I don't care what he say, what he try to do. God is in control. Even in control of the doctors. Thank you, Jesus Christ. You could have been dead. Some of you all done went on and they put you to sleep. Hallelujah. And you woke up again and you, did, you had surgery and you came out all right. Thank you, Jesus. None of you, you didn't know, hallelujah, when the anesthesiologist, when he came and he, he, they giving you the shot, I've been under, and they put me to sleep, and they, they and when they, they said, well, I'm, I'm fixed and put you out, I'm finna do it, and why I'm, I say, mom, no, you know, I ain't going nowhere, you ain't finna put me to sleep, and, and before you know it, they say, Mr. Brown, <laughs> they waking you up. <laughs> you don't want to sleep. They done, they, done, they done cut everything out. They done did whatever they wanted to do. Amen, somebody. And now they're waking you up. Thank you, Jesus. How did he get that knowledge to do that? And did you question him? Uh, what, 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 what's in it? What kind of shot this is? That you, uh, what, what, uh, how, how do you make this? What laboratory you you at? Thank you, Jesus Christ. No, you ain't asked no question. Thank you, Jesus. You just went on in there in the name of Jesus. You went in there in faith. Amen, somebody. And he blessed you. The Lord used the doctor to be a blessing to you. You didn't die. You didn't die. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. God got many ways that he can heal you and that he can touch you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And some say, well, you know, COVID is killing more people than, than the shot. Yeah, COVID is. Y'all know how many people call me 
I'm a pastor and, 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 and amen. And a prophet, they call me all during the night and they tell me somebody got a blood clot. Somebody got, their mind is going on. They, and all they, they would be telling me from COVID. Amen, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. They don't allow, so they, they so fearful if it causes the information that somebody done told them. Did you not know that God said no weapon? Did you not hear what the words say? No weapon that is formed against you. I don't care what the doctors try to do or if they trying to do anything, it won't prosper. Do you believe that? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Didn't God tell you you're going to be all right? Who are you going to believe? Who report you believe in? You believe in those people that are telling you all these things. Amen, somebody. And a lot of them got shots their own self around here. Amen, somebody. Don't you know you commit murder and not even know it? You commit murder to people that you can pass that demon to somebody else and you don't even know you did it. Hallelujah. They tell you to cover your face is because the germ, that thing is so contagious. And you say, no, nah, I ain't getting no shot and I ain't going to get tested. Something wrong with you. It's because you can be killing people. Hallelujah. You can be taking other people's lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you're not, you're so selfish and you're not considerate. Uh, others, yeah, you think, well, I, well, I'm a Cincinnati. I, I don't have no symptoms, and, and I, I'm good. But what about your grandma? What about your mom? What about your your loved ones that are standing there? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Cause you don't believe this that is happening. You don't see over uh, half a million of people done die, and you still talking about I'm in. Uh, I, I, now, let me show you the reason why you shouldn't do this. God got you if you take the shot. Amen, somebody. He still got you. Amen. They put me to sleep more than one time. And the last time I was in the hospital, I, I've never been in the hospital, but I, I done said this many times. And they put me in there and it's because they given me this shot and they it affected my arm. I forget what they called it, but they, they called it something. And my arm swole up. And when they stuck it in me, God must have wanted me to see it. He must have wanted to show me something. Because I came out of the closet and that happened to me. And I went to get something else checked. And then it gives me a shot. And then it caused more problems than what I had. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So I put my life is in those technicians, those doctors' hands. I don't know them. They don't know me. They don't know what if anything is wrong. They don't know anything. They practice medicine. That's what they do on you. So they just give you something. And they try it and see whether it'll work or not. And you pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, whatever they're doing, don't let them take my life. Whatever is going on, don't, don't let them take my children's life. Don't let them take, it's because they in surgery. It's because they just had an accident. They was in a bad car wreck and they went right into ICU. Now what you gonna do when all them doctors swarm around, hallelujah, your loved one with needles that you wasn't in the laboratory to see what they did, how they fixed up what they about to shoot them with. It's foolish. Yeah, the third giant is death. And from, from a whole lot of misinformation, you'll have friends and loved ones that will actually die if they call. They, 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 look, look, at, look at, they could even get over a cold, but they say they can jump. They can outdo COVID. They, they got a headache. They got a pain in the head, but they can outdo COVID. No, but they'll run into the bath, into the restroom and get them two pills, get me something just to let this. But thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't commit murder. Don't commit murder to people that might be vulnerable. They might be more open than you are. And if you got COVID, and I know a lot of people that do, it's because now it's more contagious than ever. Some of y'all in here and I had it. 
Several of you, not one or two or three or four. It's several of you that are sitting here that had it. But you say, well, I'm doing good. But some of y'all know how it makes you feel. And that, that's not to say that it ain't coming back. See, that's why you're why the Lord giving you time and giving you space. Trust him, love on him, and do what you have to do. And then God said, I got you. Say, come on up, girl. Come on up, boy. Come on up a little higher. I got you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. So I wanted to make that clear. Hallelujah. Because you know, I read it and I see it and I see people getting all locked into it. Thank you, Jesus. It's because they fear. The scripture said that for God did not give us the spirit of fear. What are you afraid of? What y'all afraid of? Thank you, Jesus. Before you go in some of these other countries, they're going to give you a shot. Before you go into some of these other countries, you're going to have to get several shots. You're going to have to have a passport. You're not just going to come into their country and, and, and talk about, you. no, you're going to get some shots. Were you right there when they mixed up the stuff? How can you say anything if you wasn't there? Thank you, Jesus Christ. You say, but this is what, you, that's his say, they say. Thank you, Jesus. That's why all this, listen, the Lord going to get a lot of them. It's because you got a lot of ministers and a lot of preachers giving misinformation. They ain't telling the whole truth. Put that scripture up there. You to do the will of God, not everyone. Listen to me. Listen to me. I want to read it just a little bit more. It say not everyone. It say not everyone that said unto me, Lord, shall, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom, into the kingdom uh -huh, of heaven. Of heaven. Wait a minute. Not everyone. That's everybody. Not everybody that are saying this going to heaven. Uh-huh. But he that doeth the will of my father. So you got to be able to do what? The will. His will. You got to tell the truth. You got to tell the whole truth. Amen. You got to do God's will. You got to say what the Lord say. say. Amen, somebody. Whatever he told you. Amen. And you got to be honest. The scripture say, how then can you preach if he ain't been sent? Now you got a lot of preachers that ain't been called. They ain't been chosen by God. And some of them have been chosen by God. And they still hard-headed. They're not doing his will. You got to know what is the will of God for you, your life. Listen to what it says. Next verse. Come on. I'm about there. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works. These preachers that going to say these things, these ones that going to prophesy, going to preach in the name of Jesus and say, Lord, listen to me, Lord. Wait a minute. Hold it. Didn't I prophesy? Didn't I preach? Didn't I use your name? Amen, somebody. Didn't I say in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk? Didn't they rise up and walk? Yeah, they use the name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous, they run into that name. And when you run into the name, the name going to do something for you automatically, even if the preacher don't do that. The name is in the name. Somebody say hallelujah. God have given the authority and the power to his name. And he said, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied, preach, in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils. You can't cast out devils. You can't, cast, you can't do that if you, you ain't got no power. So these are people that got power. These are people that got the anointing, and they're they using the anointing. They're using the power that they got, and they're using the name of Jesus. But it doesn't matter. Listen to what the word says. It said that uh, prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many, not a few works, but a lot of wonderful works. Mm -hmm. That means you was, you was something else. You, 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 you was, hmm, think about it. <laughs> you did all this stuff in the name. 
And the people built you up. Hallelujah. They built you up like you were some great one. Like you this and that. You can do this and you. If you ain't in the will of God, you in trouble. You got to be. Not everyone that going to say to the Lord, Lord, I prophesy, I cast out devils, I did all these things in your name. Listen to what he, listen to this part. Mm. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, oh. Anybody got a comb? I, I hear this itching. Oh, shucks. Listen to me. Numbers you got. The scriptures said that the narrow way there would be few. The narrow way, hallelujah, is the straight way. It say it'll be few that would be able to find it. Find it. See, this is the narrow way. I'm talking. Amen, somebody. Everybody ain't going this way. I don't care what his title and what he's saying. He's just making a lot of fuss, making a lot of noise right now. But he almost to be judged, his own self. Watch it. God going to judge the preachers. He going to judge all of them. He going to start, you're going to start seeing them. They going to start falling. They going to drop. Just as I speak it, they going to drop. Hallelujah. And because a lot of them is not doing the will of God, they misleading people in what they're saying. They're not telling the whole truth. They tell it part truth. That's dangerous. Clap your hands and give God some praise. Come on, give him some praise. Give him some glory. It says, and then will I tell them. You say, then will I profess unto them. I'm going to let them know. Them that been running their mouth and talking about, I know them. Lord said, I don't know you. How you owning God because of your praise and your worship and he ain't thinking about you. You're not even in his mind. That's sad. Now that is sad. You get all the way the glory you thought that, that song, that praise and your worship got you to heaven. No, what happened? You didn't have a repentant life. You didn't never repent. Hallelujah. You never really had a change of heart, change of mind. You never actually really did an about face. You continue while you were doing all of that stuff with, and praying for others, praying for the sick, and, and God is operating, and they building you up, and you got thousands and thousands, and, th and it, whatever you say out of your mouth, they following you. Wow, that's impressive. Mm, they listening to you. You sound like you. Ooh, yeah, he, that's a good, he's a good preacher. He's a good teacher. Doesn't matter how good he is. He's elegant. He can, ooh, listen, do you see how he put them words together? Thank you, Jesus. And that got you. It got you. Hallelujah. He's so intelligent. Hallelujah. I don't believe the brethren was so intelligent. Thank you, Jesus. When they, when they preached this name of Jesus, Hallelujah. They went to every house. They went to cities and they, they just preached the name of Jesus and miracles took place. Miracles taking place. Let me finish. It say, and then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. I don't know you. Depart. Where are you at right now? You standing the Lord said, you're standing in my presence. But you came up and you said that you don't did all this stuff and you don't serve them. You don't, you don't pay your tithes. I, I don't confess. I don't did this. I don't did all of these things. Lord. And then you say, the Lord said, who is you? If he don't know you, then he asks him a question. Saying, who are you? Who you say you are? Wait a minute. Who you say you? You, you say you, you, you what? You cast out devils? You say you use my name? 
You, you, you say you've done wonderful works in my name. You say you did miracles. You did all these things in my name. The Lord said, under what authority did you do these things? He said, because I don't know you. You don't want to go there, saints. You don't want to get be in this life and the chance that God has given us every day to serve him and to worship him and come to this place called we. It's going to get to the last day. You can believe it. It's going to get to the day that God wanted to get. It's because, listen, look at where we're at right now. Thank you, Jesus, in this pandemic. And then revival. And then rapture but death gonna be sweeping through the city just like she was saying heaven would be sweeping in, in heaven but it's gonna be death gonna be sweeping the earth that's what's happening right now God giving him permission let me just finish this you say and then go ahead read it reader and then I would profess unto them I never knew I you. never knew you depart from me wait a minute what do you mean Lord wait a minute Lord what? And you still up there trying to talk. You still, but, but Lord, wait a minute, Lord. What, 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 what you want me to do? And he said, I don't know you. Don't you understand when somebody don't know you and you claiming them? Hallelujah. That's just like trying to claim a, a man, trying to claim you for your, talking about that's my wife. And you say, that ain't your wife. That's, she don't know you. She ain't never even been with you. Because everything done got blotted out. Your sin blot out stuff. Amen, somebody. Your sin covered. And, and amen. God can still see your sins. Hallelujah. Your miracle. Your healing. Listen to what it says in that next verse. I'm almost there. Come on. Therefore, whosoever hear these sins of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Uh -huh. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Now, one more scripture, and I want to give you this, and then we're going to just close it right here. I look to see you all back here uh, next week, Lord's willing. Let me just give you one more right here. And I want you to go here at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14 and 15. Hallelujah. Go there in Jesus' name. And I'm going to close it right there. And so, no marvel. Listen, so this should be no surprise to you or to anyone. Hallelujah. It shouldn't be no surprise. It's because this is a giant that is deceiving the people so that death can get them. That, that's what's happening right now as I speak. It say, and know what? Marvel, uh-huh. Himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if, he, if his ministers also be transformed. Uh, okay, so it ain't, it ain't no great thing for him to, to, to be transformed into an angel of light. Wake up, saints. It ain't nothing for him to sound good and look good and look like he the real deal. It ain't nothing for him to do that. He deceives, he deceives angels in heaven, and he can deceive you. How hard it is to deceive you, especially when you're already con him. It's easy to get to you because you already con him, man. Amen. Listen to what it says. Therefore, it is no great thing if his what ministers also and his pastors his elders what also be transformed uh -huh. as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works clap your hands and say hallelujah now I'm going to come back thank you Jesus Christ I'm going to come back I, I haven't finished I'm still on a Thing here, but I'm going to start coming in on Monday night and doing miracle service. It'll be a different type of service. So, but I want to get this word out, Hallelujah, and start back up here on Facebook here, 
and on YouTube that we will start by, hallelujah, ministering to the people around the world. Amen. Those that are around the world that are listening to us, thank you, Jesus, that maybe they might be listening in a, t a different time zone, but they're getting this word a different time. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Right now, I want you to honor the Lord with the first fruit of your increase. I want you to honor him. Come on. Take your tithe, take your offering at this time. Amen. Now listen, I have already asked for a special offering on prayer. During prayer yesterday, I asked those to give a seed offering. Hallelujah. That's what I asked for on yesterday morning during prayer. The Lord told me to ask you, and I did exactly what he said. Amen, somebody. So those that are listening to me, and even if you was on yesterday on Zoom, via Zoom, and you're on today, and we get ready to do that gift right now. I want you to get your tithes, your offering. These are the things that God remembers when you do it from your heart. Amen, somebody. I want you to sow into this work, sow into this ministry. Some of y'all not able to go to Africa and to, to Asia, to China, to Japan, and to Russia, but we can go there. Amen, somebody. We have cameras that we can go right into these places. How long, we don't know how long we're going to be able to to go into these countries because a lot of things going to be cut out as we get closer to Jesus coming. Amen. So I want you to honor the Lord with the first fruit of your increase. That's what your tithes and what you're offering. Those that would like to do your gift here, amen. I, I believe, I don't know if they already have envelopes. Amen. If you need an envelope, raise your hand. You can give it here. Those that want to give it here, you can give it here. Hallelujah. Uh, you can cash up it. Uh, give it a five. You can give it. I'm asking for a special. And when I say a special, that, that, that means $100 down. Amen. I need everybody. Those that want to sow seeds today of $500. Someone I've been got out of, of $2, $10. No, God is bigger than that. And where we head it, it takes money to do what we're doing. You can't do it without the money. And these bills here is over $10,000 a month. And so you got to, amen, the people got to see that and they got to understand it takes money to do it. The Lord would remember you. Listen to me. God would remember you. He would, he would remember your labor and of love and how you blessed him. He would remember when you was asked and that you, you respond in the name of Jesus Christ. Those there that are in your living room now, I want you to take that, that special gift. Those that are here in the sanctuary, if you all would stand with me at this moment in time, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. What God has for me, it is for me. What God has for me, it is for me. I know. God has for me, it is for me. What God has for me, come on, just reach in. What God for me, it is for me. I know.
asking you to give right now as I speak, as I get ready, praying over this tithe, this offering, this special gift in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you now. Now bless your people. Bless that one that I hear that to receive. Bless them now. Bless this tithe, this offering, this special gift. God, I thank you for returning it back unto them and 100 folds according to your word. I thank you right now. I give you all praise and all the glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your people will receive and say, Lord, I receive. Come on, say, Lord, I receive. Those in your living room, in the dining room, those say, Lord, I receive. Say it again, Lord, I receive. In the name of Jesus. 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 